Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will be uh, making a new sensor introduction that is TCS3414 and to have a better idea regarding the sensor let's visit the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this sensor and let's see what we got as you can see it's a 16 bit digital color sensor programmable analog gain I2C mini module it's a, a color sensor in short as you can see these are some of its reasonable features which you can see also you can have the purchasing power uh, for this sensor from this website well I will be interfacing the color sensor TCS3414 with a Raspberry Pi and a Java code and to get the Java code let's visit the resource tab and here comes the Java code sample now you can download the Java code sample as a zip file from this website also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now let's have a look over the connections of the hardware we require to set up let's have it now for the hardware connection setup First of all, the requirement is of our color sensor that is TCS3414 and this here is a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now this here is an I2C shield. Uh, it's available on the control everything.com website and it's really useful in making connections easier with other I2C devices. So gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins like this and now what we require is a connecting cable. It's used for connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and make this connection. And make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the brown terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now this here is a micro USB cable. Gently insert it over the power jack as it's useful for making the power connections, power supply. Now the final part is to provide the internet connection and for that there are two ways. The first way is an Ethernet cable or a LAN cable as you can see and gently insert it over the Ethernet jack. The second part is to provide an internet connection using an adapter as you can see adapter wireless nano USB adapter. So this is how the connections are meant. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code so that we can interface the sensor with that. Now for the interfacing uh, with the Java code we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and after that we have to search for the sensor that is TCS3414 and here we go and this here is the Java code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install Pi4j library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps to install Pi4j is on pi4j.com link. As you can see all the relevant information is provided to install and set up the Pi4j library on the Raspberry Pi. Please do it carefully. And uh, now this is the command to compile and this is to run the Java code for TCS3414. Note it down also. Now get back to the Java code as you can see it's a .java extension file. Now as you notice in the code we have imported some of the Pi4j libraries for proper functioning and we have created a public class named TCS3414. Now bus.get device is for getting the address of the sensor that is 0x39. Now in the writing section part we have selected control register 0x00 or with command register that is 0x80 and we are sending the command for power on and ADC enable that is 0x03. Now in the next part we are selecting gain register that is 0x07 or with command register that is 0x80 and we are sending the command to gain that is 1x and prescaler mode that is divide by 1 which goes for 0x00. After that we want to retry the data back from the sensor and it's called reading part. As you can see we are reading 8 bytes of the data from the sensor address uh, data uh, register that is 0x10 it's green, red, blue and clear data. After that the conversion of the data takes place here which is according to the data sheet and the formulas provided in that. At the very end of our code we want to display uh, the output data on the screen and it goes for green, red, blue and clear data along with the ambient light luminance and the unit for all these luminance is lux. Now what we require is to have a look over the practicality of this code and let's see how it works with our sensor. Well for the working environment part the first step is to copy uh, the entire code of the Java and now open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi using internet and here create a new file as you can see on my screen dot java 
will be the extension and here paste the entire code we have just copied and after that save the code now this is the command as you can see on my screen and this it, it's come to compile the code the code is being compiled now it's good the successful compilation is there and now this is to run the code as you can see on my screen we have the green red blue color luminance along with the clear data and the ambient light luminance as you can see when i'm sending the command again and again the values are almost constant because there is no interference regarding the light intensity falling on the sensor but when i place some object over the sensor you can see the changes for the, all the luminance for green red blue clear and ambient light just like that now but when i bring a light source near the sensor and run the command for that you can see the changes increases or uh, the values increases for green red blue clear data and ambient light luminance just like that and it's increasing and when i'm trying to move the light sensor and the light source near to each other just like that the values are on the screen now what do we require is to have a look over the applications and the benefits along with the features of the sensor tcs3414 let's have it the tcs3414 digital color light sensor is designed to accurately derive the color chromaticity and illuminance of ambient light and provide a digital output with 16 bit of resolution. The device includes an 8 by 2 array of filtered photodiodes, analog to digital converters and control functions on a single monolithic CMOS integrated circuit. The applications, the end products or the market segment for this particular sensor TCS3414 are HDTVs tablets, laptops, monitors, medical instrumentation, consumer toys, industrial commercial lighting, and industrial process control. This sensor is available and can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab. After clicking on the code, you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would just like to make it clear that for any further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and if you want to post some comments, go to our community page. For articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor and the video, go to instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials, you can visit our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.